In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power to comprehend the power of the mind. If any one of us could unlock this terrible power, would we use it to explore the mysteries of the infinite, or would we use it to dis destroy? Yes, yes! Tremble, Earthlings! Tremble before the might of General Skunkape! <laughs> may be a tool, but he brings a refreshingly childlike glee to his work. <laughs> yeah, Max. It's hard to stay mad at the guy. Witness Sam and Max with my unstoppable dreadnought, my sheep and cool at my side. And the power trapped in the fuzzy one's brain. I will destroy your pitiful planet and then dominate the entire galaxy. Totally ruin the moment. Ah, uh, wait, which one of us is the fuzzy one? It's a familiar tale. A power mad space gorilla pitted against a canine detective and a sociopathic bunny with psychic powers. But, my friends, this story is different. In this story, you are in control. Only you can release our heroes from General Skunkape's bizarre space zoo. Only you can guide them in their quest to bring the villain to space justice. Are you ready? Let's begin by finding the proper tool. If I could just reach my gun, we could administer an old-school freelance police-style beatdown to that guy. I can't wait to get my stinking paws on that damn dirty ape! Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. Never drink when I'm on a case. Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. Nah, I'm gonna need this thing to trap Skunk Ape. If I open the penal zone before I get rid of this homing beacon, I'll get sucked in. Nah. What am I supposed to do with that? You're the one with the pockets. You are now inside the dankest recesses of Max's mind, where you can attempt to control his horrible psychic abilities, unlocked by the toys of power. Well done, my friends. Now select a phone number that Max has memorized to teleport himself and... the freelance police oh baby I've missed you Ooh. now what listen to the brain hey Sam it's our new pal the disembodied alien brain the same I am speaking to you telepathically 
No one else can hear me, Sam and Max. I can. Shut up. Your Earth weapons will never be enough to defeat General Skunkape. Don't you still have that homing beacon? It's Skunk Ape's penal zone prisoner's badge with built-in homing beacon. Perfect! Now, you must place the homing beacon on General Skunkape's back to trap him in the penal zone! What am I supposed to do with that? Hmm? What's that? Did you really believe it would be that easy? Kinda, yeah. We're gonna need some kind of cover to get up close and personal with Skunk Ape. Max, remember that you have been blessed with the gift. You must unlock your abilities with the remaining toys of power. Behold! Uh, hang on. Uh, there we go. It's a lump of rhinoplasty. The wacky modeling clay that promises hours of fun. And delivers about five to ten minutes worth. The rhinoplasty will grant you the incredible power of shape-shifting. You can use the rhinoplasty to pick up a picture of any inanimate object. Then, use the power of your mind to transform into that object. It's fun! Leafy and inconspicuous, Max. I always do. Well done, freelance police. Now, you must get that homing beacon onto General Skunkape before he reaches the Bronx, or all will be lost. I love what you've done with the place, my queen. Now what? Now we just use the remote control Mama Bosco gave us, and Skunk Ape gets sucked right in the penal zone, so to speak. Salmon Max, but I'm far too strong to be captured again. Soon this gateway will close, and there will be nothing to stop me. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. With all the flashing lights and panels up here, there must be something that can help. How are we supposed to get up there? The door's locked. Hmm, I can't open the doors now, but I have an idea. Before he was imprisoned, your friend, the Mole Man, was screaming something about taking over the ship. Find out what he knows. Hey, Harry, 
do you know how we can beat Skunk Ape? Poor Harry. General Skunk Ape put him in this penny conscious terrarium to make an example out of him. Even if he could hear you through the glass, Sam, the sun lamp has made him even more worthless than usual. Max, you'll have to use another one of the toys of power. drink when I'm on a case. Whee! We can't jump out. We're in... It's an ordinary deck of playing cards. Or is it? have granted you the power to thrust your consciousness into the fleshy minds of others and pluck out their most intimate thoughts. Ew. Only you can take something as beautiful and natural as telepathy and make it sound wrong. Break you, Harry. Your name is Harry Moleman. Your serial number is 2483562. Your cell number is 2125554865. Your favorite color is taupe. You have an infection of the lower. Okay, that's enough of that. Hey, Sam, I got Harry Moleman's phone number. Nice work, little buddy. Make sure you wait three days to call, or he'll think you're desperate. Excellent, Max. That phone number might be enough, because General Skunkape locked the Mole Man's cell phone and other belongings inside this container. Teleportation. Must be something here that'll help us knock Skunky back into the penal zone. Hey, Brain! Aren't you hooked into all the controls of this spaceship or something? Can you give us a hand with this thing? Just be a little more sensitive. He doesn't have hands. So what's he gonna do? Punch me? No hands. It's locked. What are we supposed to be doing, Brain? <sighs> I've already told you. You've got to find some way to knock General Skunkape into the penal zone. You'll have to excuse Sam. He's new at this. a moment to savor this. Oh, yes. Lock and lock. 
Careful with that trigger finger, Sam. Hey, Skunky, say hello to my little body. <laughs> Friends, you have just participated in a troubling vision of the future. The first of many such disturbing revelations. Over the next five chapters, you will witness things that baffle you, horrify you, even disgust you. But you must not look away. Pay close attention to everything that you see and hear. Because when our story reaches its bowel-tingling climax, only you, my friends, will possess the ability to save the entire universe. Hey Sam! This haunted toy I found just gave me an uncanny vision of our violent future! I know, I saw it too, somehow. Did your version have credits? It had a spaceship, a friendly alien brain in a jar, and an evil space gorilla trying to destroy the city. What could it all mean? Creatures of Earth, I am General Skunkape. Hear my words. I have come to you with a message of peace and love. Eh, sorry about that building. What it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. My friends, you seem a bit confused. But there's no cause for alarm. We've merely let the story get ahead of itself. Let's take a brief journey back to properly set the scene. Our story begins 25 minutes ago, on a street very much like this one. This is Sam and Max, Freelance Police, Mobile Division. Hello, Commissioner. No, we're not in the office. We're locked out of our building. It wasn't my fault this time! One 
gaping, treacherous crack in the street and those pansies from City Hall shut down the whole block. What's that, Commissioner? A sudden wave of lawfulness and goodwill spreading through the city? No, we didn't have anything to do with that. There aren't any crimes for us to solve? Okay then, we'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. The brain is dying. I'll have to call you back, Commissioner. Max has psychic powers now, apparently. That should bring us all up to speed. Now, where were we? Something about a spaceship. Hmm, what could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. It's a good thing Sybil packed all her junk into these boxes for safekeeping. And I'm especially glad we didn't put it in a secure, environmentally regulated storage facility like she asked us to. Yeah, this way's a lot cheaper, and everybody gets to enjoy it. Did you remember to feed the parking meter, Max? I slaved all day over a hot stove for it, and do I hear one word of thanks? I hope they finish the repair work on our building soon. I miss taking showers. We could just give ourselves tongue baths like cats and flight attendants do. Well, okay, I guess. Just be careful around the back of my neck. That's where I'm most prone to tie rash. Hello and welcome to a bold new reimagining of the Computer Obsolescence Prevention Society. Yeah. What are you doing in our car? I said you guys could hang out in our car until you found your own place, but it's been months now. You have been randomly selected to enjoy a free trial of the Crime-Tron XL at no cost to you. What's this business about a free trial? You have selected to hear more about the Crime-Tron XL. In a world where thugs and supervillains rule the streets, only the most technologically advanced crime stoppers will emerge victorious. Submit clues gathered from your investigations and we will analyze the living hell out of them. Let's try out the Crimetron right now. We're sorry, the Crimetron XL may not yet be available in some areas. We are still recruiting members for the COPS. For the last time, we are not letting your Japanese robot dog into this group. We talked about this. That dog is straight up creepy. You guys should keep an eye on General Skunk Ape. We're pretty sure he's evil. That guy is a total heat sink. A real motherboard. He thought everybody else liked him except for us. So-called advanced technology is going to make thousands of hard-working computers and robots lose their jobs. When buying technology, look for the Made on Earth label. What happened to that Bluster Blaster machine you used to hang out with? He has traveled with user Vasco to Las Vegas, Nevada. What's an outdated arcade machine supposed to do in Vegas? He doesn't even have any money! Bluster Blaster received a generous workers' compensation settlement upon his termination from Pimplica. We cannot comment while litigation is pending. Uh, 
How are you guys supposed to help us fight crime? Yeah, you're not even as powerful as a cell phone. Max, that was completely uncalled for. With my 1.6 MHZ of raw power, I am able to analyze data at speeds rivaling the most advanced pocket calculators. And what do you do? I'm a functional telephone. And that's about it. Now, talking to you guys is great and all, but could we have our car back? If you'd like to drive somewhere, use the handy city map contained in the glove box. Hey Sam, isn't our car still possessed by demons? It is not so bad as long as you do not try to run their air conditioner. See ya, cops. End of line. Why do we have jumper cables? Neither of us knows how to use them. It's simple, Sam. The red cable goes on the right nipple, and the black cable clamps to the... Neither of us knows how to use them legally, Max. Hello, sir, Mr. President. President, you are the ruler of this planet? Oh no, I'm just President of the United States. We're only one of many United Nations working together You're alone to achieve... here, sir. You can speak freely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in charge, pretty much. Perfect. Just the one I wanted to see. <laughs> Keep the hands where we can see him, pal. But of course. I have come to your pitiful, beautiful world for a peaceful exchange of technology. All the wonders of the galaxy, yours. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch. <laughs> All I ask in return is your help while my research assistants search for... An artifact of interest to my people. What's this about an artifact? It is the eyes of Yog Sogoth, one of hundreds of magical toys scattered throughout the galaxy by the Great Comet. It's believed to give the holder the power to see the future. What a coincidence! I was just... He was just saying how he wished he could see the future, so he and I would stop showing up to work wearing the same thing. It gets pretty awkward. So, about this artifact... Yes! You have found it? Not as far as you know, but just for fun. Why is it so important to you? It's a legendary treasure, said to give the wielder the power to predict his enemy's every movement, manipulate the economies and governments of weaker worlds, avoid death, find complex solutions to puzzles using unconventional combinations of everyday items, and crush anyone who stands in his way! <sighs> But <laughs> that's all just a myth. I would simply give it away to my nephew in Canada. Just wondering, how much do you pay for security on a ship like that? Security? You know, laser grids, explosive time locks, that kind of thing. We're just curious. <laughs> My spaceship and the wonders aboard it are open to all the feeble people of Earth. It's no fun when they don't put up a fight! So, we can just walk right on your spaceship whenever we want? 
Of course. The, the miracles of my technology are welcome to everyone, especially to your planet's mole people. What's the story behind your whole Mole Man fixation? Ha ha ha! It's no fixation. General Skunkape is a friend to all creatures of the galaxy. From the greatest ape to the tiniest, most insignificant and pitiable Mole Man. Hey, we know the most insignificant and pitiable Mole Man! On every planet I visit, all of the local mole people are invited to ride my fantastic gamma beam to a wonderful off-world vacation they'll never forget. I don't kill them. Where are these fabulous off-world vacations exactly? Why, any planet you can imagine. <laughs> Pluto? That's not a planet, Max. The planet of nubile Amazon priestesses bathing in rivers of chocolate and toffee? Um, sure. Why not? You're not from around here, are you? Guilty. You could tell by the accent, right? <laughs> no, I have traveled from a planet hundreds of light years away from your own. It was once a beautiful, swampy and muggy world, the air dancing with swarms of mosquitoes, the stillness of the night punctuated only by the mewling of infants and the drunken revelries of toothless secessionists. Its name would be impossible for your earth tongues to pronounce, but my people know it as Pensacola. So you're planning to just find your magic toy and leave the planet peacefully, right? The Earth's Chamber of Commerce has a selection of coupons for discounted dining and entertainment during your stay. Find my toy and leave? Of course not! <laughs> stay frosty, Max. This is, the part this is the part where he loses it and rips his mask off or eats a live mouse or something. Roger that! I'll get my video camera. I would never leave without sharing the technology of my world with your backward but fascinating people. Does the general want a banana? I see. Because I resemble your Earth gorillas, you assume I want a banana. I'm glad to see that Earthlings are still so charmingly racist. Relax, buddy. We're just making sure you're getting enough potassium. What are you doing here, Agent Superball? As you know, sirs, when you appointed me Secretary of the Posterior, that placed me in command of the Department of Homeworld Security. I didn't know we had one of those. Did you, Max? Heck if I know! As soon as they gave me a button that shoots ballistic missiles and a hotline to Mila Jovovich, I lost interest in everything else! Well, I investigate visitations from aliens, abductions, violations of the time stream, lost continents, myth and legends, that kind of thing. What's the homeworld security threat level, Super Bowl? It's currently hovering between Candy Apple and Fire Engine Red, sir. I'll keep you updated. All right, we'll uh, let you know if we find that artifact. After clearing it through the Department of Homeworld Security first. Just a formality. Go in peace. It's General Skunk Ape's horrible spaceship. Good likeness. This place looks eerily familiar. Check it out, Max. The control center for invaders from distant stars. Yeah, yeah, alien spaceship. Seen it? I just want to get to the part where I have those sweet psychic powers. We just need our friend the brain to hook you up and... Oh no, he's dead! 
Didn't he look more moist in the future? We've got to find some way to wake him up so he can explain what's going on. Fabulous Off-World Vacation Departure Center. Well, that's ominous. Nothing. He died too soon, I'm assuming. How are we going to wake him up? You must figure out how to do it eventually, Sam. He was awake in the future. Well, that's going to be pretty clever of me. I wonder how I end up doing it. Looks like Skunk Ape is about 300,000 miles overdue for an oil and filter change. Sam and Max, you awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Well, that's encouraging. So, uh, how did we do it? I don't know. We haven't done it yet. I know. What if you use that future vision on me? You did it, Sam and Max. You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Well, you heard the mean little buddy. We've got to find some demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Congratulations. Hey, it's all my stuff! <laughs> Step aside, ladies! Big winner coming through! Congratulations! Hey, pal, we want to ask you... I've been listening to suits like you for too long already. You can dig your own tunnels now, while well, I enjoy an all-expenses-paid off-world vacation. So long, suckers! <laughs> and that is why we're doing a staycation this year. Weird. There's a hard hat and some kind of vacation ticket. All the personal effects confiscated from our fuel resources are collected and donated to various intergalactic Mole Man charities. What a nice gesture. We should leave it for when that Mole Man gets back, Sam. I think he uh, went to live on a farm to play with other Mole Man. Oh. <laughs> Check if he left his wallet. No such luck.
Sheesh, the mole people are taking their own sweet time getting our subway station back into shape. Well, to be fair, they've been subcontracting to the Mutant Alligators Union. Those guys are notorious loafers. Rosemary keeps wandering off and leaving this thing behind. This broken gumball machine always makes me wistfully nostalgic for earlier times. Like that time we smashed this gumball machine! That was great! Hey! Any of you guys seen Charlie? He was supposed to be back by now! Four square and seven brides ago. It's a sculpture of Abe Lincoln's head. Sheesh, what will it take to get rid of that guy? He's not a real guy, Max. I can't be positive, but it seems to be made out of... pudding? Is it the annual citywide pudding festival already? I feel unprepared. Even though he can't think, has no arms, and is made of pudding, there's something about Puddin' Ed Lincoln that'd get my vote. Don't vote for Puddin' Ed. He's soft on crime. Get it? Soft? <laughs> as much as I'd love to get over there, I'm not quite willing to swim through the muck. Come on, I dare ya! Locked out of our own building, like computer science majors from a sorority house. Why do they have to do a seismic retrofitting anyway, Sam? We don't live on a fault line. I don't know, Max. The letter from the city said something about robot and alien attacks and weekly explosions. A lot of bureaucratic nonsense. Stinky's Diner. In the mood for some delicious, nutritious food, Max? Not at all. Then we've come to the right place. Ah, Stinky's Diner. The perfect place to catch up with old friends. And meet new ones, like emergency medical technicians and the friendly folks at Poison Control.
Hey, it's Flint Paper. Hi, you furry pals. Maybe Flint can help us with our case, Sam. Anytime, fellas. Except now. <laughs> Would you look at that? Stinky's prize winning spaghetti. A private dick's gotta eat, you know. Do you know anything about a missing power core, Flint? Give me a break, Sam. I haven't eaten a thing since that yak's blood on my Himalayan caper. Uh, and some gummy worms. Come back when I'm done eating, would ya? I knew Flint Paper was brave, but ordering spaghetti all as stinky is just plain reckless. A long coil of rope might be useful if it weren't made of fiberglass, varnished, and bolted to the floor. Barney and Jug Jug. Barney and Jug Jug? Ugh, you're not even trying with the names anymore, are you? Look, I've got a lot going on. Can I just give you your key or your crystal shard or whatever it is you're looking for so you guys can go off and do whatever it is you do? Sorry, Stinky. We gotta go through all the questions. It's the rules. Whatever. The aliens have landed. Oh, really? I haven't heard anything about that at all. Keep your guard up. We're about 99.8% sure he's evil. He's not even human! Okay, let's see. I'll take a double bacon cheddar butter deluxe, heavy on the wacky sauce, two orders of the jalapeno cheesy poofters, Rhode Island style. No, three! Okay, three. And let's throw in one of the eight bean casseroles with extra onion rings and finish it off with a jumbo-sized frosty banana mint pickle cyclone chugger with extra jimmies. Small side salad, please. Oh, and some bangers and mash. Hold the mash. I'm on break. What happened to your fry cook? Yeah, what was his name? Sal or Pablo or Muhammad or something? You boys must be mistaken. It's always been just me here, working the kitchen, no one else. <laughs> That's why I'm so grateful Grandpa Stinky's back. Things must be easier now that Grandpa Stinky's back. Oh yes, it's heaven. Look at what he's doing to the place. He's totally destroying the ambiance. Yeah, this place used to be an aggravated assault on all five senses. Now it's just a misdemeanor battery. Six senses, Sam. You always have the uncanny premonition of severe stomach upset in your future. You and Grandpa Stinky should patch things up. Can't you see what it's doing to Max? I hate it when they fight! Oh, I don't think Grandpa Stinky is going to be a problem for much longer. Intriguing! I signed us up for relationship counseling and a business management seminar. No. Oh. You haven't seen a futuristic power core around here, have you? What? No, of course not. <laughs> uh, uh, what does it look like? Futuristic? Core-shaped. Kind of powerish. Nope, nope, haven't seen it. <laughs> Mama Bosco would know about that kind of thing. I mean, I'm guessing. See you again soon, Stinky. Yeah, take your time. Oh, good. You two are back to barrage me with your inane questions. We missed you too, Grandpa Stinky. Did the health inspectors ever make you wear a beard net? What's cooking? Oh, you'd like me to tell you about my demon broth, wouldn't you? So you can steal another patent! Come on, you're not still angry about that, are you? That was like 30 years ago. On that 30 years, I could have been living off the riches from a gooey molasses tar cake. Can't you at least tell us what's in it? If you're so curious about it, 
pick up a can after I've made a fortune selling it to every grocery store from here to Madagascar. What's so great about that demon broth anyway? What's great is that it's nutrient rich, that it's mine, and that I'm not letting you two parasites anywhere near it. Once I perfected this recipe, I'll never need to worry about money again. Boy, Grandpa Stinky, I sure am glad to see you back working in this diner again after returning from a long time away to work with your granddaughter, who's also coincidentally named Stinky. Was all that really necessary? Sorry, Max is all short-term memory. I have to bring him back up to speed every once in a while. Ah! Giant talking dog! How's the diner business treating you? It's been all I can do just to turn this back into a place that lures decent people in to eat. The carefully placed rat droppings are one of those flourishes you don't notice until they're missing. Did you see all the decorations she scattered about? Rubbish! At least then, we had some customers. Aye, you really appeal to the lucrative insect and talking statue demographic, I'll give you that. As part of the Freelance Neighborhood Watch, we're warning everybody about an alien gorilla on the street. General Skunkapi? we do well to have more of his kind in this neighborhood instead of these shiftless layabouts loitering around until somebody comes to ask them questions. Wow, I never would have guessed Grandpa Stinky was so prejudiced against non-player characters. Skunkapi is a true commander. He's going places. I could even see him making it to the White House. And burning it down, most likely. Just be careful around Skunk Ape. Ah, you just don't trust him because he's not human. Uh, what? He's welcome here any time. My granddaughter could do a lot worse than to court a magnificent specimen like General Skunkape. Ew, gross. Isn't it kind of overkill to have a radio and a jukebox? Anything to drown out the noise my granddaughter calls music. It ruins the digestion. To be fair, Sam, Stinky's food does require you to be 100% focused on digestion. What station are you listening to? There'd be only one station worth listening to in the greater New York area. WSNT. You're listening to WSNT. All sea shanties all the time. Yo-ho. It must be great getting back to work with your partner again. I don't know. He's kind of cramping my style. Oh, you were talking to him. Yeah, never mind. Oh, it's great. She has me working the register and making deliveries. A master chef like myself. And she won't even let me in the kitchen. I already explained, Grandpa. I just have to make it nicer so that it's, um, worthy of your skills. Pah! Aw, oh, you and Girl Stinky will be working like a moment oiled machine in no time. Mark my words, boyo. Boyo? <laughs> Do people really say that, Sam? That woman will be the death of me. That's the idea. Can't you and Girl Stinky just get along? All this negative energy is bad for my psychic balance. She's the one locking a master chef like me out of his own kitchen. It won't be a problem after I perfect my recipe and make me fortune. Stay cheerful, Grandpa Stinky. Ah. Ooh, you'd like to steal my super secret demon broth recipe, wouldn't you? Well, hands off! Tell Doris, sorry, I wasn't more careful. Oh no, now we'll never be able to find Mama Bosco's power core. Wow, that looked painful.
We'd feel better if you wore this hard hat, Flint. That's swell, fellas, but... Doris would want you to have it. Aw, oh, you're right, pals. I've just been thinking of myself all this time. Hand it over. Peanuts? You know I'm allergic to peanuts, Stinky. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> kill you? Don't be silly. Something's fishy with that, dame. Now, what do you want to know? Don't be too hard on Stinky for almost poisoning you. I'm sure it was an honest mistake. They serve so many different kinds of toxins here, they've got their own menu. Nice try, fellas, but she's on to me. I know it. I'm getting too close on this big case of mine, and she's trying to rub me out. What's this big case you're working on? Get ready to have your furry minds blown, pals, because this one goes way back. Think about it. What do we really know about this stinky doll? Well, the story is that Grandpa Stinky actually created her using some kind of demonic spell, and she's been running the diner ever since. Right, some crazy story you'd have to be an idiot to believe. Right, idiot. So I started digging around, and I found this out back. Stinky, my queen, I cannot wait any longer. I will be making my grand appearance this afternoon. You say they won't trust me because I'm not human, but damn the consequences. We must start phase two of the operation now. I will call your private number with the details. Love, S. An inhuman monster, in bed with Stinky, planning something big this afternoon. Name starts with S. You know what that means. Skunk Ape. Oh. Well, yeah, that, that could be it. I was thinking it was you, Sam. You think you know a guy? I'm not angry, Sam, just very disappointed. Come on, Max. If Stinky's in cahoots with General Skunk Ape, it may have something to do with that missing power core. Good luck, fellas. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Sam, I may be psychic now, but I've got no idea how we're going to find out Stinky's private phone number. P.S. Just to make sure, your private number is still 212-555-8942, isn't it? What do you know about this creep, General Skunk Ape? Just that he tried to hire me to find some missing toys for him. I'm too busy with my other case, so I said nothing doing. You wouldn't know anything about these toys, would you? I can't lie to Flint Paper, Sam! I can, little buddy. Nope, not a thing. Do you know anything about a power core? Yeah, Mama Bosco hired me to find it. Standard issue, find the secret invention for the scientist before it falls into the wrong hand stuff. Even you guys could do it. Yeah, no offense. Oh yeah, we totally know where it is. We were just testing you. But I'm in the middle of a case that's one hell of a lot bigger. See ya, Flint. Hey, do my eyes look puffy to you guys? Always. I think I'd better go see Doris. She's my allergy specialist. Man, is she going to blow her stack when she hears about those peanuts. I was hoping you'd call. No, 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 don't speak. Those detectives are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Perfect. I'll leave right away. What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. We interrupt this program for a breaking news bulletin. Officials for the city's $700 million lottery jackpot drawing have announced that there is one winning ticket sold to unemployed and somewhat pathetic Molopolis resident, Harry Molman. Woo-ha! So long, suckers! What about your super-secret demon broth? Take it! 
After today, I never need to worry about money again. You guys ready to help us fight crime? We're still on the search for new recruits. If you spot any unused office equipment, be sure to hook a brother up. Mama B Bosco? Get out! <clears throat> Get out of here! It's Sam and Max! Uh, hiya, Harry. We were looking for Mama Bosco. Do not be afraid! Mama Bosco has passed on to the other realms! But I shall attempt to establish a link to... Oh, there she is! Hey, good looking! Oh, hey guys! Mama Bosco sends greetings from the ethereal plains! Welcome to the labs. You're my first visitor. Wait, I was your first visitor. Right. Hey, neat! The eerie oozing remains of Mama Bosco's ghostly visitations. Oh, that must be ectoplasmic jelly, cause ectoplasmic jam don't shake like that! I'm sensing that you want to ask me some questions. Did you hear about General Skunk Ape's fabulous off-world vacations? What mole man hasn't heard about it? It's the talk of the five boroughs! Why don't you go try it out? I was at a job interview when they gave out the tickets. By the time I got back, it was already too late. What are you doing here, Harry? I'm working as Mama Bosco's lab assistant. I never hired him. And she says I'm perfect for the job. But you don't know anything about science. Or hygiene. Which means I'll never go mad and take over the lab for my own twisted experiments. I'm perfect. I thought you already had a job. Apparently, there was some kind of power shakeup. I got laid off. You guys aren't looking for another partner, are you? We'll uh, keep your resume on file in case there's an opening. 
If you can talk to the dead, maybe you know about psychic powers? Sam's worried about my brain because I can see the future now. Psychic powers? There's no such thing. They just made that up to sell documentary TV series back in the 70s. See, Sam, there's nothing to worry about. Well, unless they're caused by a giant deadly tumor. Are you sure that you're, uh, compatible with Mama Bosco? Of course! I've been blessed with the unique ability to communicate with Kate with the recently deceased. Only you can see me, huh? How many fingers am I holding up? Only one! Ha! See? I am... Oh. You know, Harry, uh, we can all see and hear Mama Bosco. That's just a manifestation of the unconscious... Oh, who am I kidding? You're right. I'm just useless. Come on, Harry. You're not just useless. He's right. You're totally useless. If money's tight, maybe you should try the lottery. I've got a really good feeling about your chances this time. Yeah, the lottery's just for unemployed losers who don't understand how numbers work. So how many tickets have you bought? Twelve. No, wait, uh, one. See you around, Harry. And cheer up! You'll get what's coming to you. That's what I'm afraid of. And ghosts. <laughs> no way! I didn't think they'd come out with the XKJS3 model yet. This baby is eight times as fast and has 18 USB slots. What does it do? No idea. This thing does science so hard, you say, I've never seen that much science. And it's all, check this out. And then, boom, more science. Not having to worry about fire safety is one of the many advantages of being a ghost. Or being us. Charmingly outdated science textbooks. From the Earth to the elaborate moon landing hoax. If these findings are true, then that would mean it's scientifically impossible for Max and me to exist. Oh, no, wait. Uh, I was reading it wrong. It's Mama Bosco's dimensional destabilizer thing. Push that green button. What's the worst it could do? Tear a hole in the fabric of existence and bring the Elder Gods back to this dimensional plane. Oh. What happens if you double-click it? I can't tell if that's something Mama Bosco invented, or an award Mama Bosco got for inventing something. Either way, it's pretty impressive. Does anybody mind if I change the channel? Is this the one with the space gorilla? Nah, I've already seen it.
Hello, operator. Oops, sorry. You know how those spirits are once they get talking about the good old days when they were alive. I guess we can't make outgoing calls. Spiderwebs and spooky houses go together like well-dressed dogs and naked bunnies. How many times have I told you not to use the B-word, Sam? My missing power core. I knew you were the right one to find it, Flint Paper. Nah, it was nothing. Thanks, Sam and Max. This is exactly what I need to turn my life around. Harry's got a great, big, wonderful surprise waiting for him. And to think all it took was this. Are you sure you can't make those future visions last a little longer, Max? Oh, that would take all the fun out of it. I know what would cheer you up, Harry. An all-expenses-paid vacation. You actually have one of Skunkopi's golden tickets? Well, that's a nice gesture, but I don't take charity. I'd have to give you something in return. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a lottery ticket, would you? Well, sure, I buy one every week, but it's worthless. I never win anything. I mean, uh, it's incredibly valuable to me. I don't know if I could part with it. Okay, then. See ya, Harry. Wait, I can part with it. Just give me that vacation ticket. So long, suckers! Prepare yourselves, mole women of outer space. The Love Digger is on his way! Oh. What can I do for you boys? Did you hear about the alien gorilla that landed on our street? Yeah, it came through on the news alert. Something about sharing alien technology and ending all poverty and disease on Earth, right? Well, yeah, but that's just one part of why he's evil. I'm sure he's fine. I'm even gonna ask him if he can help me finish my dimensional destabilizer. I'd be careful around that general skunk ape. You two don't trust anybody, do you? What do you mean by that? Yeah, what are you trying to pull? Oh. Just wait till he helps me with my inventions. Then you'll see he's not such a bad guy. I'd be... You two don't trust... What do you... Yeah, what are you... Just wait till... How's the afterlife treating you, Mrs. Mama Bosco? That's Dr. Mama Bosco. I spent the summer getting my PhD online. Yeah, I started to do that, but I kept getting distracted by all the funny cat pictures. You don't know how to use computers, Max. What's your doctorate in, Mama Bosco? Bridging the trans-dimensional gap to return spirits to their corporeal form. My master's was in funny cat pictures. Sounds like you're tired of being a ghost. Oh, it's not all bad. I'm getting better at apparating. And now I don't leave a trail of ectoplasmic slime behind every time I leave the room. That's better than Sam can say. But I'll be glad when I finish my dimensional destabilizer and get my body back. I miss touching things. Yeah, touching is my third favorite thing to do to things. In case anyone was curious, second is licking. You're a doctor. Can you tell us anything about late-onset male psychic dysfunction? Psychic powers? It's probably a melon-sized deadly tumor. Probably? Well, it could be mind worms, of course. But I don't want to be alarmist. Most likely, it's the deadly tumor. Couldn't Max just have the perfectly safe kind of non-lethal psychic powers? Oh, it's Max. Uh, 
I'm sure it's nothing to worry about, then. Could you, uh, have him stand a little farther away from my machines, though? Are these psychic powers dangerous for Max at all? Well, probably not, if he's careful and only uses them responsibly. And what if it's Max? Well, he'll overwork his brain so much that it catches fire and explodes. Oh, I have got to see that! You can't see that, Max. Your brain will catch fire and explode. Well, that's why you'll have to record it for me, Sam. Duh! Dr. Mama Bosco, your lab is actually pretty impressive. Bosco's inventions always kind of, well... Uh, sucked. Yes, yes. Well, he was always a special boy. Have you heard from Bosco? He sent a few postcards. He and that bluster blaster machine finally made it to Las Vegas. I didn't know Bosco liked gambling. He said he's got a system. Plus 15 billion dollars left over from the money that some idiots gave him for his inventions. I'm sure those idiots had very good reasons. The new lab is, uh, nice? Thanks for saying so, but it needs work. Do you have any idea how hard it is to find abandoned real estate in Manhattan that's not already haunted? It is a dyer's market. I had to start reading the exorcism listings in the paper just to find a lead on this place. Why didn't you just set up your lab in the inconvenience store? Not everything happens on your street, Sam. Besides, that place isn't zoned for mixed-use haunting. They've got guys from the city coming by every day to evict me from this place. Only way to get rid of them is by making the walls bleed. Do you happen to know anything about a power core? Where did you hear about that? From magazines? About pamphlets? Hmm. I had a power core stolen from my lab. Who do you think stole your power core? No idea. I've got a, um, real detective on the case, though. It's a good thing we're trying to steal it, too, or we'd be offended by that remark. Couldn't have come at a worse time, either. I've almost got my dimensional destabilizer working, but the dimensional rift generator is useless without power. Man, if I had a nickel for every time I didn't understand what you just said. What did this power core thing look like? What a question. It looks like a power core. You know, that's like asking what a Vanderpunk particle emitter looks like. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. Not if I can get this destabilizer working. wonder what's in here. Don't open it, Sam! It probably leads to a fantastic land of wonder and thinly disguised religious allegory! Good call, Max. We already wasted enough time poking around that toll booth. I'd give $758 million for some of that demon broth right about now.
We're all torn up about stealing your patent 30 years ago, Grandpa Stinky. Maybe this will make up for it. A lottery ticket. <laughs> Don't you know that nobody ever wins these stupid... We interrupt this program for a breaking news bulletin. Officials for the city's $700 million lottery jackpot drawing have announced that there is one winning ticket sold to unemployed and somewhat pathetic Molopolis resident, Harry Molman. This just in, in a surprising upset, we're told that the winning ticket was transferred to local diner owner, Grandpa Stinky. <laughs> Sorry, Harry Molman. Better luck next time. Did you hear that? I told you I would win. woo <laughs> So long, suckers! We've been hearing that an awful lot lately. What about your super secret demon broth? <laughs> Take it! After today, I never need to worry about money again! We better find a use for this quick, Max. I don't like the way it sloshes around in my coat and gets everything disconcertingly moist. Oh sure, blame the demon broth. to the Televoice Communitron Extreme 5000 with over 800 messaging features available. Oh boy! Now I can finally set up my 24-hour adults-only naked bunny chat line. We're sorry. We've lost my manual for that feature. Can you make phone calls? That I can handle. Please say the name of the person you want to call. You've reached Bosco Tech Labs, the city's leading research facility for scientific breakthroughs with a woman's touch. Science and woman's touch are two things you hardly ever hear together. I'm dead right now, but feel free to call again later. That's weird. Harry's phone has been disconnected. Mr. Pizza, I want an extra large thick crust with one half peanut butter and passion fruit, the other half with watermelon only. You want Cheesy Dingles, Max? You have to ask? Okay, and two, no three orders of Cheesy Dingles. Gouda. No, three. Right. An extra fudge sauce. Okay, thanks. How long till it gets here? Probably never, Max. Nobody answered. Sybil's still on her honeymoon. Kind of pointless to try and call her in retrospect. Say it, Grandpa. All right. Home of the colossal blooming avocado taste banger deluxe. Place your order at the beep, and one of our polite delivery people will rush it to you if he ever gets the chance, which he won't. I was hoping you'd call. No, 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 don't speak. Those detectives are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Uh, yes, <laughs> we should go to uh, that place with the things that you like. Perfect. I'll leave right away. See you wherever that is, then, uh, my love. Oh yeah, one more thing. Are your corn dogs really made with 100% pure beef? What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Woo! Well, that's a relief. Ever since the dairy freeze shut down, Stinky's corn dogs have been my only source of nutritious pig sphincters.
Wow, would you look at that, Max? Amazing. It's a secret passage, Sam. Really not that big a deal. It's a big pile of low-tech audio-video equipment, tossed out like pianos from a falling zeppelin. And it's still warm. Documentary filmmakers must be lurking nearby. Some secret passage. It's just a bunch of junk, like this old scanner. <laughs> oh boy! Whose head do we explode first? Not that kind of scan. What the? Hey look, it's Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. What was it doing down here? That's a mystery for another episode, Max. This should give that brain the jolt he needs to face the morning. Now we just need some way to hook it up. Mm, it's too bad you don't have a nose, cause you smell delicious! You did it, Sam and Max! You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths! 
How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Don't forget the jumper cables, Sam. They were very important. Whatever the case, listen carefully. Do not trust General Skunkafe. He is... He is... Whoa. Something's happening. Toys detected. Toys detected. What are you doing, Brain? Cut it out. I can't help it. I'm... Oom. Yogsagot Nagulurum. Yogsagot Nagulurum. Gordon's alive! I mean, what a pleasant surprise. Tell me, friend Breen, where is the toy? Two toys. Two weak. Can't trace. Uh... Curses! Very well. I'll find them myself. Is he gone? Yeah, the coast is clear. What just happened? I don't know. I've never felt anything like that. The toys of this planet must have astonishing power. Where is Skunk Ape's collection of magic toys? He keeps them on display as a show of power. I'm regaining control over the ship's functions so I can reveal them to you. Behold! That's it? That's it! It's a toy that lets you teleport across vast distances in the blink of an eye using only the power of your mind. That's not cool enough for you? It's just, we saw more toys in Max's vision. More toys? You must not have found them yet. They must still be somewhere in this city. You have to find them before Skunkape does, or he'll destroy us all! Spaceship is secure. If I could have a moment, sirs. Hello, Sam, Mr. President. If you have a moment, you need to be debriefed. Too late! This may come as a shock, but our intel indicates that General Skunkape is actually quite evil. No! I'm pretty sure I never heard of a Department of Homeworld Security agent, Superball. Established in 1901 by Theodore Roosevelt after President McKinley's assassination by one of the insectors of the Nebulon Empire. I'm President of the United States! Why didn't I hear anything about it? It's explained in books, sir. All right. Okay, what's the real story behind Skunk Ape? General Skunk Ape is an intergalactic criminal warlord. There's been a galaxy-wide gorilla hunt in effect ever since he escaped from the penal zone. The what zone? Penal. It's an interdimensional prison for the most dangerous villains in the universe. How are we supposed to get Skunk Ape back into the penal zone? The United Planets have simple and easily reproducible fail-safe measures in place to handle escaped convicts. Well, that's a relief. All we need to do is open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway to the penal zone, and his prisoner's badge will take care of the rest. Where is Skunk Ape now? We can't track him without his homing beacon, sir. This will require some traditional detective work. Will reckless and irrational detective work do? Cause that's all we know. I'd recommend starting with some of his known contacts. We have to open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway? You must have lost your senses, man! The odds against that are astronomical! Even if we did know what that was. The gateway is the easy part, sirs. Dr. Mama Bosco's reckless and blasphemous work tearing down the fabric of reality could be useful. What do we need from Mama Bosco? Her dimensional destabilizer can open a gateway to the penal zone. Anyone wearing a prisoner's homing beacon will be returned to justice automatically and scientifically. I didn't notice Skunk Ape wearing any kind of badge or homing beacon. That's because he wasn't wearing one, sir. I find it extraordinarily alarming. Whoa, 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 calm down. We can't think with all your hysterics. Forgive me, Mr. President, but unless you can find General Skunkape's homing beacon and place it on him, we're powerless to stop him. What did this homing beacon look like? It's a standard issue intergalactic correctional facility inmate's badge. It can't be destroyed, so the only way he could have gotten rid of it is by giving it to someone else. Is that why you were hanging out in our office so much last season? I mean, a few months ago? To protect Max? Uh, sure. Wow. 
I feel really close to you right now, Agent Superball. Likewise, sir. A bit too close. Don't worry, Superball. We'll hit that gorilla where it hurts the most. Right in the penal yes, zone! I get it, sir. Sam and Max, do not trust Skunkape. His benevolent facade belies a heart of pure evil. Uh, yeah, we kind of already figured that out. The giant fang spaceship with disintegrator eyes was our first clue. Are you calling me gullible? Uh, what? Look, I don't know what planet you're from. This one, actually. But on my world, if an alien invites you onto his spaceship, you don't just assume that he's going to cut out your brain and keep it in a jar. I guess we're just not that cynical. To be fair, Max, your future vision goggles did tip us off. You mean, you wield the eyes of Yog sagoth But, but that must mean you also have the gift. What's that mold processing room all about? Isn't it obvious? General Skunkape is illegally harvesting mold juice. Mold juice? What's your story, Brain? Can we get you anything? Like a spine? No, it's too late for me, I'm afraid. I can only help you put a stop to General Skunkape's evil schemes by controlling the doors and the higher functions of this spaceship. We must work quickly before... What is in this broth? Is that oregano? It's delightful. Stay focused, pal. How did you get here? I had found a mysterious toy and was using my strange power over it to amaze and delight the ladies of my village. It was then that Skunkape's ship landed. He was intrigued with my power and invited me on board his spaceship. So you just went with him? He said he had candy. How was I supposed to know he'd imprison me here, forcing me to use my psychic powers against my will? In the future, you seem to know all about Max's psychic powers. Yes, Max is one with the gift. The toys have great power, but only to those of us with a special brain. Well, Max does have a special brain. That's what all the teachers said. Well, that and back, back! I cast thee out, demon! You must use the gift wisely, Max, and keep it secret from General Skunkape. The power is every bit as dangerous as it is wicked awesome. Why do you think Max's powers are dangerous? Apart from the obvious, of course. General Skunkape can't use the toys of power himself, so he needs the brain of someone who has the gift. He forced me to use my powers so much that I would have died had you not rescued me. If he ever found out you have the gift, Max, he wouldn't hesitate to do the same to you. What is Skunk Ape's evil scheme anyhow? No less than domination of the entire universe! Did he ever mention anything more specific? He's traveling from planet to planet, searching for all the toys of power. If he ever manages to collect all of them, he'll be completely unstoppable! Why did Skunk Ape come here, to our street? He's been using my strange psychic connection to the toys of power to track them throughout the galaxy. Something very powerful pulled me to this spot. I can only guess it was Max's discovery of the eyes of Yog sagoth and the future vision. How are we supposed to stop Skunk Ape? Any weaknesses, like he's powerless against the color yellow, or he can't cross running water? Or he's powerless against yellow water? I know what you're thinking, Max, and stop it. Well, of course, the toys of power are useless to him without a gifted brain to control them. Apart from that, he always says he has a weakness for potato chips, and he has to eat the whole bag. Yeah, that doesn't really help us much. Sometimes, when he's in the shower, I could swear I hear him crying. What did you look like back when you had a body? Oh, nothing exceptional. About 6'3", raven-haired. I had what you Earthlings call a runner's build. 
I can read minds in the future, you know. All right, fine. I believe the closest creature you have on your planet is called a platypus. Okay, that's all the evidence we need. Let's go out and deliver some interplanetary justice, Max. If you end up cutting out his brain, I call dibs on Skunkape's body. This unassuming telephone unlocks the gift of teleportation. Using the power of your mind, you can teleport yourself to any phone number you have memorized. Oh boy, I want to try it right now! I don't like the thought of you teleporting off without me, Max. You can go too, Sam. Max will teleport anyone he's touching. Watch the hands! When traveling through Max's brain, keep your eyes shut. Stinky's cell phone, but why would she have left it behind? Especially since she's got 18 months left on her contract. Either there was some kind of struggle, or it was left here for us to find and we're walking right into a trap. I've got it! She waived her early cancellation fees with a recommended device upgrade. So now we know two things. You're an idiot, and this phone is going to lead us directly to General Skunk Ape, somehow. Hey, Brain, can you open this door for us? You want to go into the mole processing room? But it's a horrible place! Official business. Besides, it's for mole people only. Perfect! We're part mole man! Odd, you don't look molish. By marriage. There were rituals. Very well, I will try. Welcome.
Congratulations! Prepare, prepare yourself for a fabulous off-world vacation courtesy of General Skunkabe. I'm very excited! Why aren't there any doors? You'll feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. Slight tingle? Whoa, hey now! <laughs> Screw the vacation! I want to keep doing this! Error. Cannot remove inventory. Where do you keep your personal items? It's none of your damn business, computer. Very well. Beginning Mole Man processing. Sam, why is the floor so slippery? For the comfort of guests waiting outside, please refrain from screaming or crying out. Do you smell something burning? Sam, why haven't we ever seen any mole people come out of here? Enjoy the rest of your experience, and remember that your sacrifice is for the glory of General Skunkabe. Sacrifice? Are we going to die, Sam? Depends on whether we can think of a way out of this death trap, little buddy. Not even the freelance police can put me in a bad mood today. Do your worst. Oh, new thing! <laughs> it is pretty cool, isn't it? But don't touch! And no animals on the counter! We've had a sudden change of heart. We think Skunk Ape is awesome. Where do we sign up to join the Skunk Ape Army? You two? In the Skunk Ape Army? Don't make me laugh! We're really good at not making people laugh. Why can't we be in the Skunk Ape Army? For starters, have you ever actually hit anything with that gun of yours, Fido? Now that's just not nice. And as for Harvey here, he'll be a fine soldier until we run into a You must be this tall to invade this planet sign. Uh-oh, you made him angry. Settle down, Max. Isn't that brooch a little fancy pants for you, Grandpa Stinky? Taint a brooch, you cretin! It's a badge of honor! General Skunkapi was so grateful for my donation that he made me his second in command! That badge looks dangerous, Grandpa Stinky. You'd better let us have it. Let you have it?! This badge gives me command over General Skunkapi's entire Fifth Legion and Outer Dominions! I'm not gonna give it to the likes of you. Where are his Outer Dominions exactly? I don't know. He told me to command them from inside the diner. I think it stretches from Alpha Centauri to the Andromeda Galaxy. And Brooklyn, of course. Can't we just borrow your badge? Ha! Even if you weren't a couple of shiftless ape traitors, my captain ordered me never to take it off. And to keep at least 50 feet away from him at all times for some reason. How's life as a multi-millionaire, Grandpa Stinky? So, you're starting to regret handing over that ticket, are you? I almost feel bad taking it from you. But consider it a life lesson. You're gonna be a lot more clever to outsmart an old salt like Stinky. What are you gonna do with all the money? Oh, I already gave it away. You what? To General Skunkapi. Haven't you heard him talk about the big plans he has for the planet? Inspiring. And since he made me his second in command, I never have to worry about money again. You just gave away hundreds of millions of dollars to an alien gorilla? You make it sound like I didn't get anything to anything in return. I got this badge, 
and command of an entire alien fleet. That is pretty cool, Sam. Well, yeah, especially if he threw in the badge. Skunk Ape's a total dillweed, Grandpa Stinky. We're placing him under arrest. Well, we're getting around to it. Eventually. Traitors! I knew it! Just wait until the General hears about this! You know where he is? Well, no. And I'm not supposed to go near him. But you two are in for a world of hurt once he gets my memo. General Skunk Ape's got you brainwashed, Grandpa Stinky. Yeah, and he, and he hung you out to dry to avoid further shrinkage. Ha! You gentle, free-loving, hippie, peacenik types just can't appreciate a real leader who's not afraid to use his weapons. He really doesn't know us at all, does he? This is your last warning, Grandpa Stinky. We're taking down the whole Skunk Ape army. Don't forget who you're talking to, traitors. As long as I wear this badge, my loyalty is with the General. Okay, this is your last warning, for real. We're taking down the whole Skunk Ape army. Don't forget who you're talking to, traitors. As long as I wear this badge, my loyalty is with the General. We really want to join the Skunk Ape Army, Grandpa Stinky. Max needs to pay for college. Why don't you ladies run back to your knitting and scrapbooking and leave the army work to the real men? And gorillas. That does it! I'd better get out of here before things get violent. off me. Oh, what have you done? Welcome back. Thank you for bringing friends along to celebrate the benevolence of General Skunkape. You'll feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. No one's taken my personal gold and griddles. For the comfort of guests waiting outside, please refrain from screaming or crying out. Abort! For the love of Skunkape, abort! Voice print verified. Skunkape Army Sous Chef, 8th Class. Processing aborted. Sous Chef? 8th Class? After all I've done for that ungrateful monkey, he can keep his bloody hands off of my butt and band. Looks like Grandpa Stinky's stuff got mixed in with all of mine. What has he got in his pockets? His victory badge from Skunk Ape and... Jackpot! A collectible shot glass from Mista Pizza! Hey, you guys can't do that to me. Looks to me like we just did. At least give me back my sidekick. You'll get the rabbit once Jerome's done working him over.
pretty cool. Not useful, though. Oh. Hey, careful where you drop that thing. Blow, and without any significant injuries either. They think he crushed my trachea. It's an engagement ring. Sam, this is all so sudden. I I don't know what to say. Quiet, Bonehead. Hmm, I've got a feeling Skunk Ape picked it up while he was out looking for toys. Oh, there's an engraving. Hard luck. Classy. It's a torn receipt for something. Skunk Ape must have dropped it when he came through here. A clue! Which store? Can't tell from half a receipt, little buddy. If only we had some way to piece all these clues together. Mama Bosco, I respect her because thanks for getting rid of those gorillas, Sam and Max. What does that dimensional destabilizer do exactly? It opens a temporary gateway between one dimension and the next, which can pull someone from the spirit world into the real world. Or from the real world to an interdimensional prison? I suppose so. Do you think that's what Skunkape was trying to keep people from finding? I don't know. My money's still on the big screen thing. That's just cool. Well, it's worth a try. I built a remote control so you can open the gateway anywhere. It'll only stay open a few minutes, so you've got to make sure you do it right. Anybody holding something tuned to the alternate dimension will get sucked right in. Max is confused about how that dimensional destabilizer works. You just have to find Skunkape and open up the gateway. If he's holding anything tuned to that dimension, he'll get sucked right in. The remote control for it is right over there. What were General Skunk Ape's minions doing in here? They came in and took over the place, right after I told him about my dimensional destabilizer. Well, that was uncalled for. Yeah, I mean, sure, she's really boring about it, but that's no excuse for violence. I'm pretty sure he was trying to keep anybody from using my inventions against him. Did Skunk Ape give you any idea what he's got planned? Nope. He just told his guards to make sure nobody found out about my inventions. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. No way! I didn't think they'd come out with the XKJS3 model remodel yet. This baby... What? No. Is this the remote control for your destabilizer thing, Mama Bosco? That's the one. Make sure you don't press it before you really need to, because you only get one chance. Woo! <laughs> 
Are you guys still looking for a fourth member? Well, hello there, beautiful. Were your moving parts properly secured when you fell from heaven? <coughs> Do not forget our seminar on workplace harassment. Plus, I called dibs. When exactly did this get really creepy? Thank you for joining us in a brand new style of 20th century crime fighting. You can begin submitting clues to the crime tron whenever you find them. Any ideas on the case, cops? We're sorry, we haven't been paying attention. Scan evidence with the crime hyphen tron and we will track down the villains without mercy. It looks like you're using the Crime Tron! Would you like help? No, I got this. Skunk Ape must have been at a Mista Pizza, but how can we know which one? If Stinky went somewhere to meet Skunk Ape, she's probably got the number of a place on speed dial. Skunk Ape was here 20, no, 28 minutes ago. He should really get more fiber in his diet. There's gotta be some clue telling us where he went next. Keep your beady little eyes open, pal. Keep watching the skies, Max. I'll shoot if they try anything funny. <laughs> ah, you can't get taste like that from real cheese. Uh, were we supposed to be looking for clues or something? Looks like this little fella's had his fill of Mista Pizza's rotting remnants for one day. Can I poke his belly with a pencil and make him explode in a horrific shower of dough and anchovies? Maybe later. Good work, Max. Now, let's see if we can... Aha! A clue! Delicious, dripping with rollover minutes. Oh, 
swallowed whole. I've never seen anything like that before. Not since we accidentally wandered into that theater on Times Square. Good work, Max. Now let's see if we can... Aha! A clue! Hmm, a vintage postcard from somebody who collects old, rare toys. What's the address? I don't know, Max. The name and most of the address are smudged out. This looks like a job for the Crimetron. And pick up that phone, Max. I'm not touching it. That won't work. This postcard is from somebody who collects and sells vintage toys. Scan complete. New location unlocked. Intergalactic Warlord business must be in a real slump if Skunk Ape is having to hit the pawn shops. He's tracking down magic toys, Max, and he must have found something inside if he left Gruesome there to guard the door. Intrigue! Would you like to know what magical surprises are in your future? My friend here is a trained psychic. Call me now for your free reading! Beat it! <laughs> Just a bunch of food scraps and used cat litter. It'd help if I knew what I was looking for. My psychic gifts tell me those trash cans are going to be useful later. Huh, a banana peel. Aha, uh -huh, a banana peel. Oldest trick in the book. I could have totally carried that heavy thing a lot farther. I just didn't feel like it. This looks entirely too safe. I could have totally carried that heavy thing a lot farther. I just didn't feel like it. Seems like a waste of a perfectly good banana peel. Down with Skunk Ape! Aliens, go home! Hey! You guys really shouldn't be literate. Surprise! Oldest trick in the book.
ball toy. Skunk Ape must have tossed it out when he realized it wasn't magical. We've got to find what store he got it from. I can make out part of the name of the store this came from. Success! A new destination has been revealed on your map. Are we ever gonna find Skunk Ape, Sam? All these streets look the same! Shut up, Max. They're completely different streets. It's Mole Men! General Skunkampi is sweating Mole Men! Uh, spoiler warning, Harry! Sheesh! Smash your cell phones! That's how he controls you! It's Mole Men! General Skunkampi is sweating! All clues lead here, but... No sign of skunk ape. Aha! New York's lackadaisical business hours win again. But skunk ape will be back any second, little buddy. We'd better be ready for him. What are we gonna do once he shows up? I don't know yet. It's locked. Skunk Ape's either waiting for this place to open, or coming back with his goons to bust the door down. <laughs> so you have found me at last, Freelance Police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. Uh oh. <laughs> so you have found me at last, Freelance Police. That will make everything so much easier. And you have brought the elusive toy right to me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Engines to full power. Yes! Destroy the city! Look familiar? I certainly hope that you are paying attention, my friends, because our story seems to have hurtled to its inevitable conclusion. No longer can you blindly mash buttons to unleash a torrent of irreverent banter and comic mischief. Now you are all that stands in the way of the total annihilation of the planet Earth. The villain has made his move. The players are yours to command. Only you can return General Skunkape to the penal zone. <laughs> Sam and Max, don't tell me Skunkape wants you guys to be his love slaves too. You'd be surprised just how many fetishes there are that involve Sam and me. What are you doing locked in here, Stinky? I've got no idea. I assumed it was Grandpa Stinky's fault. Why aren't you out there on your throne? Yeah, isn't Skunk Ape your boyfriend? Ew, he wishes. He is so not my type. You only have to date an evil gorilla once to learn never to make that mistake again. Oh, we've all been there, girlfriend. Did you lose your cell phone? Ugh, hang on a second. I am your love monkey. <laughs> yes. Hi, Skunkabe. I see you. That's very clever. <sighs> He's been texting me non-stop. I tried to throw the phone away just to get away from it. 
Can you call for help on your fancy futuristic phone? I already tried that when you guys were knocked out. There's no signal off this spaceship. How is this Grandpa Stinky's fault? He's been going on and on about Skunkabe ever since he landed. That's the kind of gentleman you should get involved with. He's got a future. Ugh. You gotta stay away from Skunk Ape. The guy's a total butthorn. You're telling me? I was just going to meet my... to meet a friend at the top of the Empire State Building. Then all of a sudden this giant gorilla shows up and carries me off to be his queen or something. Gee, you'd think a hyper-intelligent alien could've come up with something more original. I'm not buying this super-advanced technology business if they haven't even mastered the technique of margaritas and unexpected car trouble. You've gotta help us take care of that jerk, Skunk Ape. Whatever. Let me know if you've got any brilliant ideas. I think you're being too hard on Skunk Ape. He's just misunderstood. Oh yeah? Uh, did I misunderstand this picture he sent me? Good heavens! I think I should put on some clothes now. Well, Skunk Ape's got a lot of good points, too. Name one. He's got his own spaceship. I noticed. That may impress you boys, but... And the keys to your cage, so he could let you out. But then she wouldn't be able to talk to us anymore! Yoo-hoo! General Skunk Ape! We're all set, Max. Now we've just got to get out of this cage so we can wrap this case up once and for all. Die, Earthlings! Die! I never drink when I'm on a case. You must place the homing beacon on Skunkape's back to trap him in the Pedal Zone. We're on it. Now light up those toys. The hell? Looking for these. Uh-oh. Your future viewer has proven to be most enlightening. <laughs> Here, use it to witness how I'm going to destroy you. So... What was our plan B again? I believe you planned to turn on the dimensional destabilizer, yes? Luckily, I have my own. But I've still got the homing beacon. Exactly. Can you believe that guy? Skunk Ape knew what we were going to do the whole time. He just wanted to rub our noses in the penal zone, so to speak. I don't like being in the penal zone, Sam. You're not supposed to, Max. It's a horrible plane of non-existence forever trapped between reality and unreality. Yeah, that and also that beeping noise is really getting on my nerves. Turn around, Max. Skunk Ape strapped an antimatter bomb on your back while we were out cold. Get rid of it. Jeez, what a jerk! We gotta get out of here, Max. Pronto! Welcome back, sirs. Uh, what just happened? 
I detected a spike in antimatter radiation, so I locked onto the signal from your homing beacon and reversed the polarity of the dimensional stabilization field to intercept. Yeah, yeah. Just tell us how we can get back at Skunk Ape for crimes against the freelance police and humanity. I say let's cover him in candy bar wrappers and feed him to starving raccoons! You failed to trap him in the penal zone? I wouldn't say failed, exactly. Uh, maybe underperformed. And we blew up the penal zone with an antimatter bomb! Oh, dear. How can I help, Sam and Max? Dr. Mama Bosco has been granted the fullest security, cl security clearance possible for a dead citizen, Mr. President. Can't we just use that destabilizer thing to open up another gateway? Not now that the penal zone has been destroyed. How are we going to stop Skunk Ape now? With the penal zone, zone destroyed, we have no way to return him to prison. Unless... you could make another penal zone somewhere else. I smell a convoluted plan coming on. With a side order of hand-waving technical nonsense. Extra crispy. Before I made the destabilizer, I was working on a dimensional rift generator. It doesn't open a gateway to another dimension, it actually creates another dimension. Only problem is, you'll have to find a nexus of ley lines somewhere for it to work. A place where the border between reality and nonsense has broken down. There happens to be one of those in the city, ma'am. It's at 1313 Straight Street. That address sounds familiar. That's our building. Can't we just use that destabilizer thing to open up another gateway? Not now that the... How does this rift generator work? You just plug it in and press the pedal. After that, it works just like the destabilizer. If Skunkape is wearing that homing beacon, he'll get pulled into the new dimension. The trick is finding enough power for it. Do you have any more of those power cores lying around? No, I never did get that back. But even so, it would have taken a hundred of those things to give enough power to a dimensional rift generator. It's over there, with the other inventions that are a deadly radiation hazard. So you're suggesting we trap Skunk Ape in our own building? Well, kind of. You'd actually be turning your building into an alternate dimension, so it won't really exist anymore. I'm afraid it's the only way, sirs. Yeah, on the plus side, if it doesn't exist, think of how much money we'll save on rent! We don't pay rent, Max. See you on the other side, Dr. Mama Bosco. We'll be careful with your rift generator, Mama Bosco. Just make sure you don't turn it on until you've got that homing beacon on General Skunkapi. Did you see that, my queen? Not only did I defeat Sam and Max, but I took care of the penal zone in one stroke. Unfortunate word choice. Sam and Max, you survived! Have you returned with a, how do I put this tactfully, better thought out plan to stop Skunkape? Hey. Our last plan would have worked fine if he hadn't changed the future. Yeah! How do I put this tactfully? Hmm, bite me. You'll need to get your personal belongings. Let me see if I can... <sighs> oh, that hurts. Does everyone else taste butterscotch? Thanks, Brain. Now we just need a way to get this homing beacon on Skunk Ape's back without his noticing. I can't remember the name of my elementary school. Are you okay, Brain? You're looking a little green, even for you. The stress of powering the higher functions of this ship is proving most detergent. Plus, I think this broth is starting to go bad. How are we supposed to stop Skunk Ape now? 
I don't know. Something about a homing beacon, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Keep it together, brain. Okay. Bye now, Grandma. or something. Thanks, Stinky. Hey, Brain, can you give us a hand here? Maybe cause a subtle yet stylish distraction? I grow weak, jamming tracks, and I fear my time in this wharf is drawing to a clone. But if I can prevent but one villain from massaging another appointment book, my sacrifice is but a small, small bacon melt to pay. Great. Could you hurry it up? Max, show some respect for this noble creature's sacrifice. Could you hurry it up, please? Donut button, Sam and Max. Donut button till we meet again in the plaid. Ah. Emergency. Engine failure. Emergency. No. No! Not in my moment of triumph! Sam and Max must somehow be responsible for this. I must find them and destroy them. That's it, little buddy. Let's go. Take that! What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. The power's out in the whole building. It's been months and they still haven't sealed up this crack. Somebody should do something about it. I say we all wear gray ribbons to raise crack awareness.
Ah, I was hoping we'd teleport under an immovable pile of rubble and debris. Trapped for weeks, we'd be forced to resort to cannibalism just to survive. You keep coming up with creepy disaster scenarios that always end up with you eating me, Max. It's getting annoying. If you don't like it, then stop looking so damn, so damn tasty. Whee! the planet here intruders they've come to defile the toy box kill them no wait brother look it is the dog and rabbit just as prophesied on tablet 8 verse 32 uh excuse me i'm pretty sure you mean tablet 6 verse 24 heretic looks like another in a long line of wacky cults max we're in so many prophecies, we should start charging royalties. You try and entertain the other wing nuts while I find a way to power this thing up. Look at Max. I've never been that good with hieroglyphics, but it looks like this tablet is all about us. Ooh, what does it say about me? Let's see. You're going to fight a monkey get a bunch of magic weapons, merge with the collective unconsciousness to become one with infinity, and then destroy the universe. Uh, are you sure you're not reading it backwards? Hmm. Well, if that's the case, you're about to wrestle a crocodile, and I'm going to turn into an owl. I can hardly wait! I gotta turn on this machine to stop a gorilla. Down the tunnel, first door to your right. No, I literally have to stop a gorilla. Oh, we know little of your modern inventions. The toy box provides all we need. Who are you guys? We are the Boxists, the last keepers of the true way. Well, our brothers have succumbed to the siren song of secular America with its basalt-rich tunnels and specialty coffees. Only we remain to act as guardians of the box. Before, it sounded like you were expecting to see Max and me. Yes, you're coming with foretold in the sacred tablets and scrolls. And yea, the Devil Bunny, knowing not his true purpose, would unlock the mysteries of the toy box. Hey, Sam, it likes me. You know what that means, Obadiah. It's time, time for, for the, the apocalypse. apocalypse. What's that toy box got to do with Max? He must be blessed with the gift! It will bestow great power to the one who can use its contents! Oh, and don't forget about the apocalypse! You guys seem awfully chipper about the end times. It's just nice to be proven right for once. Yeah, suck on that, Barry Diggory! Who's wearing a stupid-looking robe now? What's with the creepy toy box? It is everything and nothing. The power infinite. Oh, well that makes sense. We have guarded and worshipped it from behind the shadowy veil of faith for generations. We love the box so much, we've prepared a song about it. <clears throat> we love the toy box, cause it's really great. Man, the musical numbers have really gone downhill since we've been on break. Some of us had grown to believe it was just an allegory. I'm looking at you, Jebediah. But the veil has been lifted! There it is, before us, just as the tablets foretold! What's inside that toy box anyway? No one knows. No one has seen it for thousands of years. There are those who believe it contains... toys. Oh right, like the creator of all things is really some fanciful box in the sky filled with magical toys. You'll have to excuse Obadiah, he's a fundamentalist. 
Is there anything in your scriptures about how we can defeat Skunk Ape? Just that the box will show you the way. And then the Devil Bunny and his chubby sidekick... Hey. ...broke down the wall and slew the betrayer of Mole Men. You guys stay crazy. Amen! At least the boiler still works. The workers left some of the cable exposed when they were busy not fixing the power in this dump. Well, it's worth a shot. Hey, Max, want to come here and ground me? You're pushing 40 in dog years, you're not a very good detective, and it looks like you've put on weight. Thanks. That should do it. should be enough power. Now to turn it on. <laughs> well played, Sam and Max. But once again, I am too strong, and you have only seconds before... Wait, it can't be. The Devil's Toy Box? Devil's Toy Box? That's right, Jack, and it's ours. Yeah, go find your own toys. Ha, ha, ha. Perfect. You have led me right to the greatest prize of all. Soon your bothersome dimensional rift will close. And I will take the toy box and the one who can control it. Yes. Think of something quick, Sam. I don't like the way he's undressing me with his eyes. Turn it off! Turn it out! We live in cool, dark places. Pretty sloppy of you to miss this toy, Skunk Ape. It's the best one yet. Nonsense. It's worthless. Are you kidding me? It's just dripping with psychic power. Right, Max? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, that one gives me the power to, uh, uh, automatically calculate the proper tip at restaurants. Nice one, Bonehead. It's a very practical power, Sam. They can't all be showstoppers. Give it to me. No! Keep away from the big monkey. No fair. Give it. And so our heroes save the world once again. Our villain undone by his own greed. It would seem a fitting conclusion. But this is not the end. Oh no, but merely a beginning. The overture, if you will, of a five-part symphony of mayhem that will blow your ever-loving mind. What is this mysterious toy box with its bizarre connection to Max? 
Is General Skunkarpe truly defeated? Will Sam ever find true love? Will Max be able to control his emerging powers? Or are his ominous visions of the future a sign of tragedy to come? I'll see you in the coming chapters to answer all of these questions and more. But for now, I leave you with this chilling conclusion. Ouch! Sucked right through three floors in a septic tank. There goes our security deposit. I wonder if our building is zoned to act as an interdimensional prison. Sam, what are they looking at? Holy heaping helpings of Herodotus on base with Marshall stacks and a Wawa pedal. Is that us? Ah!